Yes. Leo, you officially started your training camp for your fight against Carl Frampton on July 30th at the Barclays Center. How's everything going? Uh, everything's going great. You know, we started my camp. I want to go really prepare for this fight. You know, Frampton's a great fighter. So, I don't want to, to end up like maybe that we didn't train good or anything. So, we're going to leave everything in the ring. We started training already and we're going to go 100% ready. A few months ago, you say you wanted to face the winner of Frampton versus Quig. You get to fight Frampton. How are you preparing for this fight? Uh, I'm preparing for this fight, uh, you know, the best I've, I've ever prepared for any fight. You know, I think this is one of my hardest fights. Uh, Carl Frampton undefeated, like me. He has his whole crowd behind him. So I got to go out there and show the world who Leo Santa Cruz is. This will be the second time Frampton fights in the States. You were sitting ringside when you fought Cobrita Gonzalez Jr. last year. What did you think of his fighting style? Uh, well, I thought he was a great fighter, you know. He, he adjusts when he has to. He, he moves a lot. He's a great skills fighter and he has great power. And, but I see some defects on him too. He drops his hand too much. So I think I could land one of the big right hands and I could drop him. You know, Cobrita dropped him with the jab and then he dropped him with the right. So I, saw, I took that as an advantage. So I think I'm going to work that and we're going to try to finish him off. As you were getting ready to fight Kiko Martinez on February 27th, Frankham and Quick were fighting in England. Did you see their fight? Uh, the truth, I didn't see the fight. Uh, I only saw some previews and stuff like that, but I was reading about it. I was saying that, oh, it was the first round. It wasn't what I expected. You know, the fans were expecting a really great fight, and the first few rounds, it wasn't like that, like they expected. And I think uh, Quick didn't put enough pressure. I think if if, uh, if it was me up there uh, with my pressure and everything, it would have been a uh, during fight. Were you already at the Honda Center at the time they were fighting, Leo? Uh, I, uh, no, I think I was in my hotel room still. Mm -hmm. I was right there waiting. Uh, and when they were fighting, I was trying to look for it on TV, but I didn't, I didn't find it. Right. But I looked on the phone on Twitter. I was reading it. And then uh, after my fight, uh, that's when I tried looking in previous, and that's where I saw it. Were you surprised how Kiko Martinez was so aggressive when you fought him? Yeah, of course, you know, I wasn't that, that surprised, but, you know, he came out strong. I knew he came prepared because this was one of his last opportunities. So I knew he's a strong fighter. He always comes to fight, and I knew he was gonna, he's gonna, he was going to come out with everything and try to knock me out. But, you know, I played it off a little bit. It was my fault, you know, I stayed there. I tried to please the fans. That's why I got caught with good punches and everything, but I wanted to make it entertaining for the fans because that's what the fans love to see, entertaining fights. Uh, back and forth action, and that's what I tried to do for a little bit, but then my dad told me to, I had to be smart and change it, and that's what we started boxing and doing, using the jab, and, and that's how we ended up finishing off. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy watching the ortiz Berto 2 fight uh, this past weekend? Uh, yeah, it was, ortiz and Berto was a great fight, you know, like I expected. Uh, I knew Berto was going to win. Uh, I said that. But why, why do you say Berto would win? Because, uh, you know, ever since... Ortiz broke the jaw and they mm -hmm. put the metal thing inside, he hasn't been the same. Because mm -hmm. I could imagine it, you know, if you have metal in your in your chin, when they hit you, it's gonna like, you know, like the bell when you hit it, right. it, it like, it trembles. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what happens in the chin. Once they hit him, it trembles his whole brain. So I knew that once they caught him, that it wasn't gonna be the same. Ortiz is a great fighter, you know, great skills. Mm -hmm. If he wouldn't be cut of the chin, I mm -hmm. think Bert, um, Ortiz would have beat him. Okay. Champ, you're taking on Carl Frampton, the former IBF and WBA Super Bantamweight champ. How does the U.S. boxing audience, uh, how much do the boxing audience know about him? Um, maybe not a lot of U.S. audience know about him, but you know, he's a great fighter. And when he comes to fight me against me in New York, I think they're going to find out who, how he's a great fighter and everything. But I'm going to show them that I'm a better fighter than him, that I'm going to go out there and, and win the fight. Um, how excited are you to be fighting at the Barclays Center for the first time in your career on July 30th? I'm very excited, you know. I always, I always fight here in the U.S., uh, in Vegas, Mexico, but I've never been over there to New York, so it's a great opportunity for me to get new fans a lot, so that a lot more people could get to know me because it's going to be all over the world and I get to meet over there new more fans. You're defending your WBA featherweight world title that night. How will Leo Santa Cruz be received by his new East Coast fans? Uh, hopefully, I receive, uh, I get received by all the fans that, that love me and stuff. I'm gonna go out there and make them my fans. You know, I'm gonna go out there and give them a great fight. I'm gonna go out there with everything I got to, so that I could, if they're not my fans, I could get any more fans and they, they could know me all over the world.
Yeah. Will Leo Santa Cruz be as popular in New York as he is on the West Coast? Uh, what hopefully. do you think? That will be we're hoping to go over there and do to get new fans and to be as popular as I'm right here. And by doing that, I'm gonna train really hard here to go out there and give them a great fight that they could never forget. Champ, thank you for your time. Anything else you would like to say to your fans regarding your fight? Yeah, to all my fans, that thank you for all the continued support. Then to all my my fans from here, California. I wish that if I was here, you know, I wanted to be here in the Staples Center or in Vegas, so I, the, all of you guys could go support me, but you know, they, something with the promotion, they, they didn't want it over here, I think it was maybe because of Frampton, he didn't want it because he said that I think it was going to be an advantage for me if we fought here, so, but you said, like I said, I don't care, I'm going to, I don't care if I, I could have gone to England, fight him over there, I don't care where to go, I'm still going to go and beat him. You yeah. probably have a lot of his fans, yeah. uh, Irish fans, rooting for him in New York that night. Uh, Champ, thank you for your time. Santa Cruz versus Frampton, July 30th from the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, live on Showtime. Yeah, thank thank you. you, Leo. Yeah,